Assalamu alaikum. Did you know what is medicine? Medicine is the science that deals with health and healing. It consists of nurses, doctors, and other specialists. It also covers disease diagnosis, treatment, and prevention, as well as medical research and a variety of other topics. Medicine, as we all know, attempts to develop and maintain good health and well-being. Who is the first creator of medicine? First and foremost, the first creator is Ibn Sina, who was born near Bukhara in 980. At the age of 13, he began his medical education. He rose to prominence as a physician and was the first to invent medicine. Besides that, Hippocrates is regarded as the father of modern medicine because of the more than 70 books he wrote. After extensive observation, he characterized several elements and their treatments in a scientific manner. Then, what is mean by preventive medicine? Preventive medicine is the promotion of preventive health care in order to increase patient well-being. The ultimate goal is to eliminate sickness, incapacity, and death. The goal of preventive medicine is to eliminate disease either by preventing it from occurring or by healthy it and avoiding its repercussion after it has begun. Now this issue, since it has become a phenomenon in both developed and developing countries, the rising number of individuals suffering from health problem has become a serious concern in our countries. Malaysia's health was placed 10th out of 13 Asian countries according to the healthcare index by Asian countries. In our country, there are numerous health issues that are becoming more prevalent by the day. For example, the Minister of Health reminded us that based on research from 1996 to 2006, the number of people with high blood pressure, 44%, and 80% of people with diabetes mellitus has increased rapidly among citizens. Many causes are contributing to the rise of health problems in our country. One of the citizens did not follow the doctor's recommendation of taking medicine, they believed that medicine was unimportant in maintaining good health. Type of preventive medicine Preventive medicine treatments have three main classifications. We have primary, secondary, and tertiary prevention. Firstly, the primary prevention goal is health protection. This includes vaccination, changing risky behavior, and banning drug link to disease or health condition. Secondary prevention, prevention medicine focus on early illness detection. This increases uh, the patient's chances of receiving treatments. Early detection of the disease inhibits it progressing. Mammography is an example of screening method used to detect disease in their early stage before signs and symptoms appear. Tertiary preventive medicine aims to limit the damage of the current illness, making the patient as comfortable as possible is part of this level of care. Now, let's proceed to the Islamic perspective of preventive medicine. Islam prioritizes the well-being and health of its people. Therefore, in a good aspect of health, Muslims are required to take care of their body instructed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to always be in good health. Muslims are obliged to find medicine when they are infected with a disease. Treatment is compulsory when ill because there is no disease that Allah created except that he has also created its treatment. Seeking treatment when, when ill is a strong proof of faith of a Muslim, the true of Allah, attribute as Shafi'i who is able to bestow healing from any illness suffered. Hadith narrated by Sunan Ibn Majah from Usama bin Sharik radiallahu anhu. Kala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Tada wa ibadallah, fa inna Allah subhanahu lam yada'u da'an illa wada'a ma'ahu shifa'an illa harama. Seek treatment, O slave of Allah. From Allah does not create any disease but he also create with its the cure. Except for all age, we can conclude that as a Muslim, we have to understand that recovery from a disease is within Allah's power. We need to strive in finding a cure that is not against the Islamic principles such as the use of black magic for other means forbidden by Allah. You know that preventive medicine can help prevent serious disease and medical problems? Many diseases, if caught early, can be eradicated. Furthermore, giving people the best chance of healing and avoiding premature deaths. And the most important point is to improve the quality of our life. That's all from us. Thank you for your attention. Hope you guys benefit from our video. Bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.